The purpose of this program is to provide basic instruction in the proper and safe operation of Landall's 330 series semi-trailers. To obtain a complete understanding of operational and safety issues, all drivers and operators are required to thoroughly read the operator's manual. Landall 330 series trailers utilize a traveling axle undercarriage, tilt bed, and winch to facilitate loading and unloading. Operation of the trailer in a manner other than as specified by this program and the operator's manual could result in costly damage to the trailer, personal injury, or death. Drivers are strongly encouraged to follow all industry recommended procedures and safety practices during all phases of truck and trailer operation. Before hookup, it is important to do a complete walk around inspection of the trailer. Look for oil leaks and hanging wires or hoses. Check the tires for proper inflation and excessive wear. Check the oil in the hubs and look for structural damage to the trailer. After coupling, check the following. Hydraulic and air hose connections, air and ABS brake systems for proper operation. Check the running and signal lights along with the rear impact guard. Make sure the trailer's undercarriage is fully back in transport position. Inspect the winch and cable system to ensure safe operation. Also, make sure the landing gear are raised and secured in transport position. Operators will need to verify that all equipment necessary for securing loads are on the truck or in the trailer's toolbox. Safety is your first concern during all phases of trailer operation. Do not load any payload that will overload any component of the semi-trailer or result in an unsafe condition. To load a single 20 or 40 foot container, back the trailer within a foot or two of the container aligning the trailer with the container. It is important that the truck and trailer are parked in a straight line on a solid, level surface. Set the truck's parking brake and release the trailer brakes prior to putting the trailer in load position. Set the trailer's front container stops at 38 feet. This will allow a 40-foot container to overhang the approach plate by 2 feet. If you are loading a single 20-foot container, there are no load stops to set, but you should allow for a 2-foot overhang. Hydraulic control levers located on the trailer's control panel are used to move the undercarriage, raise the bed, and winch control. If the trailer is equipped with an optional self-contained engine package, start and warm up the engine before engaging the hydraulic controls. If your trailer is equipped with an optional work zone warning strobe, there is an on-off switch located on the control panel. Put the strobe switch in the on position and do a walk around of the work zone before beginning trailer operations. Remove any objects that can interfere with safe trailer operations and make sure that other individuals are well clear of the loading zone. Some trailers may also be equipped with a dual hand control system. This safety system requires the operator to have two hands on the controls when operating the trailer's hydraulics. This prevents injury by keeping an otherwise free hand out of harm's way. To put the trailer in load position, alternate between moving the undercarriage forward and raising the front of the trailer bed until the undercarriage is fully forward and the approach plate makes light contact with or is just above the ground. To achieve the lowest possible load angle, the undercarriage must be fully forward. With the trailer bed in load position, back the trailer until the leading edge of the approach plate slides under the container. If you are unable to slide under the container, pull the trailer forward approximately one foot and attach the Landall bridle to the container. Then let out the winch cable and attach the cable hook to the center of the bridle. Reel in the winch cable just enough to remove slack and then lower the trailer bed. Lowering the bed will raise the front of the container and allow you to place a block on